Hi, c'est Thinker. I'm Rudy, the developer of Fluent. Today, you're going to follow a modeling tutorial step by step to discover basic usage of Fluent. This video contains three parts. First part, modeling. Second part, the power of non-destructive modeling process. And in the last part, we will see what we can do after the Fluent modeling. So, let's get started! Before to begin, I'm going to show to you what my preference setting for Fluent. I only check hide boolean object and auto parent options. I begin with nothing in my scene. No, let's go! Create the main shape. I call the pie menu and choose creation and use the right click to display the Fluent snap grid. Click and drag to draw the rectangle, right click to validate the drawing. In Fluent, after any drawing, the Solidify adjustment is automatically launched. Right click to validate the adjustment. The next step is to use Bevel in Fly menu. With it, I finish the main model geometry. To add a little detail, we can add a second bevel. The first bevel affects drawing corners, the second bevel affects the model. You can swap between straight or smooth bevel with the C key. All it's ok for me, so right click to keep fluent. The screen. This time I choose slice in pie menu. Right click on face to display the snap grid. V and B keys allow us to change the grid resolution. Uh, no, uh, okay, my screen is draw. I will just add a rounded corners. Top part with light. I'm going to make a new slice, but with shape drawing type. In this case, I will begin my drawing out of the model. So Fluent need to know what the drawing plane. To do it. I use shift click on the face. And now I can start my drawing out of model. After the first click, I can use control key to snap 35 degree directions. When the drawing is finished, just right click to validate the shape and adjust the solidify thickness to cut wall model. Now I will use the symmetrize tool. How to use it? I want to copy vertices along x axis from left side to right side. So, I press X and click on left side. Ok, it's perfect. Use bevel to make smooth corners. Now, for the del, it's another slice operation. This time, I will add a new thing, an array. Press X to activate array along X local axis. Use S and D keys to swap between count or offset adjustment. Make a right left button. The last uh, slice operation for this model. One tips with the snap grid. You can press W to use it only with the current face and not with all model. After the drawing, I move my boolean object. You will understand why. In this case, I will don't use uh, first bevel modifier, but directly a second bevel modifier. And to finish, I had a mirror modifier along X axis. To create the button, I need to scale this object. But in object mode is never a good idea. So we go to edit mode and scale it up in Y and after in X axis. It's finished for it. Create the button part. One more time, I use right click to display the snap grid. Click and drag to draw uh, and add some adjustment like a bevel. Uh, for this next cut, uh, I will use shift during the drawing to draw from the center. Now I will extract the boolean object to use it like a classic object. Start to display boolean object and select the latest created object. In pie menu, press and hold shift before to click on duplicate button. It's a very useful function when we need to add a mesh in whole. 
Before to cut this object, I apply rotations. Currently, the snap grid needed to work properly. Now I can continue and finish the game. Main case. I draw a circle and one more time, the snap grid is a powerful solution to easily find a good position. When you draw a circle, you have one more option in fly menu, the radius. Continue to adjust your shape and, and don't forget, you can use HK to hide mesh or display mesh to easily see the result. After that, we can create the cross button. Right click on the target face and press B few times to increase the snap grid resolution. Click and click to draw the cross. If you miss something, use backspace to remove the latest point. We continue with classic adjustment. I display boolean objects and extract it and make my button. The right side is a good case to use circular array. After to draw, call the circular array, adjust the radius of circular array and the radius of button. I know, I want to make a button. So, I move up the mesh, complete it with one bevel and display a boolean to make an extraction. Speakers. Speakers is very easy. Just draw circle and use array to make the grid. Press X to add an array along X axis. Adjust count and offset with S and D keys. Press Y to add an array along Y axis. No, just add a mirror and it's finished. Hold the case. Last button uh, use the same workflow than previous button. No new information. So we are going to jump in the next part. Last details. No, you will see how to make a slice with another way. I don't use slice in Pi menu, but cut hard. I use the grid to cut half of the, mo of the model. Now the trick is to use the second solidify. If you press C, Fluent set up a very little thickness value. You see a slice, but it's only one object, not two. Last detail for this model before to show to you the power of non-destructive workflow. No special thing, just don't forget to apply rotation after extraction. I will work to improve this point. The power button is done. The model is done. The power of non-destructive modeling process. Let me show to you why the non-destructive workflow used by Fluent keep modeling like a pleasant task and why Fluent is a stressless modeling tool. Obviously, you can move every boolean object to search the best place for it. But everything, everything you did during the fluent creation is editable. Bevel, array, solidify, screw steps, because you will find them in the modifiers panel. All the stack is here and he's waiting you. You forgot something? All modifiers, used and non-used, stay here so it's easy to display or hide one of them. It's a simple edge time saver. Don't remake, just adjust. After the modeling process. You like your model and after. Two possibilities. First, add the latest bevel for wall model. This little bevel smooth sharp edges for more beautiful result. If you haven't artifact with your boolean operation, you can keep your model like that. 
and use procedural material on it. Second way, apply all operations with autocomplete function. Now you can make a classic mesh correction like I shared with you in this previous tutorial. You can also unwrap your mesh for the texturing process. Let us sing. Every object are parented, so when you finish your model, it's completely ready to use in your scene. And yes, it's the end of the tutorial. I hope this introduction helped you to begin with Fluent. My add-on is constantly evolving. I use a lot my Discord to share future updates. What do you think about vlog video to speak about Fluent and this channel? Let me your opinion in comments. If you don't want to miss the next tutorial, uh, next tutorial, Blender tutorial or Fluent tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching and don't forget, we grow tired of everything except learning. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.